Hi. The purpose of this video is to show you how to program your card keys into your lock. When you get your RFID lock from Shelves by Tim, it's already programmed, and really all you need to do is just start using it. Um, but sometimes you might have to reprogram the locks for some reason. So I wanted to give you a little quick video as to how to do that. So the lock, when it's off of the, uh, the shelf, it looks like this. The battery pack is here. <clears throat> the bottom side of it has you know, the electronics of it. And there's a reset button that's located right here. And this reset button is what's used to reset the lock to allow you to reprogram for the new card keys. So the first thing you want to do is attach power to it. You can either do that by putting batteries in the battery pack here or plugging in your your uh, alternate or your external power source. When you do, you'll hear that three the little five little tune play that just lets you know that the lock is powered. So then the first thing that you want to do is because you'll have your cards here and I have one that's going to be a, I'm going to program as my system card, one is my management card and two opening cards. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button down and I'm going to hold it until I hear two beeps. Okay, now it's ready to program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the system card and I'm going to scan that. I'm going to take the management card and scan that and put them off to the side. I'm going to wait until the lock plays a little tune. Okay, now we know that it has programmed and read these two cards into it. So now what I'm going to do is program the opening card. So to do that, it's very simple. I'm just going to take the management card and I'm going to scan it once. It'll play a tune and then I will scan each of the opening cards and let it, you'll hear it have a little acknowledgement beep there. Okay, now I'm going to take the op first opening card and scan it and the second opening card and scan it. That's the same process you would go through if you get any additional opening cards. Is you use, your, use your management card to do that. Once it's done, it'll reset for that little tune, and now it's all ready to, to operate. So I can test it by simply taking one of the new opening cards and scan it. You notice the lock pushes in. In a few seconds, it'll come back out. So now it's in locked mode. I can test this one as well. Scan it across there. It's now in open mode. And now it's in locked mode. So again, if you want to add then additional opening cards, all you have to do is take the management card, scan it, it'll play an additional tune list like that, and you would take that new opening card, scan it as well. Now I've got three cards that have been scanned into this lock. And the lock resets. Now this third lock should be available, so I should be able to scan it, and it works well. And that's how you program your RFID locks into, your RFID cards into your RFID lock.